Welcome! Today I'd like to show you the Make Noise sound hack Morphogene. A high resolution sampler and playback device with a lot of manipulation and modulation features. Its layout and functions are inspired by a classic tape recorder. First, I'm loading a new blank micro SD card while the system is running. The sound on sound control knob is turned fully counterclockwise, meaning only the incoming sound is put out. When holding the record button and pressing shift, the morphogene analyzes the level of the incoming signal and sets it to modular level. It's possible to synchronize the recording process to a clock or trigger. Here a clock division starts and stops the recording. I'm turning SOS full clockwise and also turning the Vari speed playback control knob clockwise until it's lit green indicating the sound plays forward and in its original speed. Then I trigger the playback with the very same clock division and you hear the recording looping. The morphogene can also resample the sound it plays with all modification parameters. It's even possible to overdub. Set the SOS control knob in a position you hear both the incoming sound and the playback. Start recording will capture this mix. The morphogene reads WAV files with 32-bit float at 48 kHz in stereo. A sample can be up to 2.9 minutes long and it's referred to as real, like the reel of a tape machine. Files need to be renamed into MG1, MG2, MG3 and so on. In real mode, you can playback and modify the selected reel. Vari speed determines whether the reel plays forwards or backwards and in which speed. In 12 o'clock knob position, the playback stops.
Now it's possible to cut the reel in so-called splices. Think of it like cutting tape into smaller sections or setting cue points in an audio software. You can splice up a reel into a maximum of 300 splices. You can browse through the splices with the organized knob or toggle from slice to slice with the shift button or shift CV input. The slide parameter allows you to shift the starting point of the playing gene or splice. Gene size adjusts the length of the part of the selected splice, which is played back. Full counterclockwise means the whole splice plays. The more the knob is turned clockwise, the smaller or shorter the sample gets, until granular. This is independent from the vari speed. The morph parameter lets you literally morph the loop less or more together. Fully counterclockwise, there is a gap between the end of the sample and the restart of it. The more the knob is turned clockwise, the smaller the gap gets, until end and start point meet or get shifted into another. If the knob is turned full clockwise, the module also plays random octave shifted versions of the loop, generating a chaotic texture. As you can see, all the parameters also can be VCV controlled.
the end of splice gate output sends a gate after the end of each splice or gene. For example, it can be used to trigger the shift input to switch from splice to splice sequently. The CV out is basically an envelope follower, meaning the louder the signal level gets, the higher the voltage output. Let's plug it into a VCA and listen. Of course, there are more features like recording into existing splices, changing parameters in the system software and so on. But I think we got the main functions and basics of the morphogene covered now. In the second part video, I will show you some practical usage of the module and some patch ideas. Hope you found this helpful and to see you around next time. Take care.